Final thoughts of a book uh, I've been reading during the pandemic, just kind of finished. Uh, controversial really didn't start out that way, but it's Governor Andrew Cuomo's American crisis, and he is now in a crisis over allegations of uh, workplace impropriety and of uh, putting seniors who were COVID positive into seniors' homes. He deals with some of that uh, in this book, and I'm sorry to say it's a good book and in a contemporaneous account of his managing of the COVID crisis, um, but it is going to be overshadowed by his controversies. Uh, he talks about George Floyd. He talks about Florida putting COVID positive people in seniors' homes. And he talks about an interesting idea I haven't heard about. In France, they had caregivers living in the facility. Now you'd have to negotiate that to begin with, as part of the employment contract, but they volunteered to live in that facility, and that is one of the safest ways to do it. He goes through a few pages of the fact that you can't discriminate against COVID people, uh, and maybe that means you have to let them in, but you shouldn't let them in because they'll infect other people, and I'm not sure if he has made his point all that well. This is all going to shake down in the inquiry about his uh, governorship. Uh, he talks about remote learning, and he gets uh, tries to get off the hook as many many people are doing about the procurement of uh, personal protective equipment and uh, ventilators and so on uh, the uh, state of new york bought tens of millions of dollars in ventilators and they were hosed they were never delivered uh, they uh, are in a court case about that now and he said why isn't there better procurement and uh, joint procurement well there is there are five hundred thousand procurement officers in America and they sit in with governors. Uh, he must have had someone sit in with him and uh, there was nothing stopping any group of governors who were close together, North, South Dakota, Montana, Nebraska, et cetera, from getting together and buying what they needed. So nobody's off the hook there. Uh, what he gets full credit for is cleaning the MTC, the uh, subways, the buses, et cetera. Every city in the world should learn from that. They do it once every 24 hours. Uh, and that is a good thing for regular germs and colds and flus and what have you. Um, he had a good phrase, public policy is often tweet deep. This is the equivalent of the public policy uh, bumper sticker these days. A couple of, couple of quick other points and then I'll leave it to you whether you get a decent book from a person who may not be a decent person or who is not uh, uh, perceived that way these days. Uh, an outbreak anywhere is an outbreak everywhere and that's A.J. Parkinson and of course ironically A.J. Parkinson doesn't exist. His father, Governor Andrew Cuomo, got a big kick out of quoting someone who didn't exist and uh, the current Governor Cuomo is getting the same kick. It is um, ironic, it's not funny, etc. Also, uh, I mean, Americans have a tendency to uh, suck and blow, as I've already said many times, uh, because he talks about how cities are creatures of the state. They don't have a lot of power. They can only do what the state allows them to do, and hence some of his friction with Mayor de Blasio. Well, Come on up to Canada, man, if you want to see uh, that kind of situation writ much larger. Only municipal services are mentioned in our constitution, not municipalities or cities. They are creatures of the province. They are weak. The mayor only gets one vote. In America, even New York City, they have a speaker. Uh, the mayor is more powerful. So um, I would get a little bit off that kick. And of course, there's no subnational government in most of the UK. It is the national government, then there are cities. Same thing in Holland. Anyway, um, that is Andrew Cuomo uh, during the pandemic and a contemporaneous account. We will see, but I don't think things will end well for him. Happy reading.